welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you a full routine using the Olympic rings that you can implement in your off-season strength training program. Yeah. Today's workout, we're going to be doing two to four sets per exercise. That means if you're a beginner, you're going to be doing two to three sets. If you're more advanced, you're going to be doing three to four sets. The rep range is going to be six to 12, but that's a gauge. So if you can't do six, don't worry about it. Do as many as you can. And if you can do more than 12, by all means, do more than 12. Challenge yourself. Um, we're going to be starting off with the pull-ups. I am doing the ring version right here. These are a little bit tougher than doing them off of a bar, but you can do them off of a bar also, as you're probably hanging your rings from a bar anyways. The modified version of this is going to be with your legs straight out like this. I also have a video on this um, if you want to check that out too. It's a great one if you can't do a full pull-up. Next is dips. This is going to be in a very advanced movement. You can see there's a lot of uh, stabilizing in the shoulder that has to be done when you're doing these. Um, and they're a great workout. So if you can't do these and you still want to progress to them, this would be my progression. Basically putting our toes in, on the ground, taking away some of our body weight. Moving on, we have rows. There's going to be three versions of this. We're going with a straight body and almost directly underneath the rings. It's going to give you the most um, stress that we can do just using our body weight and not adding any added weight. Then we're going to go with a bent knee, which takes away a good amount. It shortens the lever arm and makes the uh, exercise a little bit easier. And then the easiest version is basically taking a step back to uh, change the angle um, which you're pulling from. Now doing push-ups with the rings are really great for shoulder stability because you have to make sure you're stabilizing those rings in space. So that's why I have this exercise in here. And if you can't do a full version, we have a modification for you. Just move those rings up and change that angle to make it a little bit easier on yourself. Face pulls are a great exercise for your rear delts and your, tra and your traps and the postural muscles to make sure that we're still maintaining good posture, um, which is going to be vitally important to staying injury free. Again, two versions. All the easier version is just stepping back and decreasing the angle a little bit. Tricep dips. Triceps are going to be another uh, muscle group that we use in paddling. Um, as they help, they assist with the lats and uh, doing uh, tricep dips like this, you can do them on a bench is also a great way to do them. Um, legs out in front of you is going to be harder obviously. Last exercise we have is ab rollout. It's going to be one of the best ab exercises that we can do. The farther you can go out, the exponentially harder they do get. And the only way to make them easier is just move the rings up higher and don't go nearly as far. So that is the workout, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys like this content, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. More content to come. Until next time, guys. Paddle hard.